Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Erase the Ick Master Course, where we are doing a deep dive into the five biggest mistakes we make in direct selling and what we can do about it. I am so thrilled to have you guys with, with me tonight. Um, I've been pouring my heart and soul not only into the Erase the Ick course, but into this master class to give you guys real actionable things that you can take away and start using in your business right now to start the level up process. So let me share my screen and we'll get started. Hopefully today you guys got the um, uh, workbook that was sent uh, through the email. Um, and if you're anything like me, you've printed it off, you've got your pens and pencils ready uh, so that we can take lots of notes and really, like I said, make those sort of actionable changes that you can use in your business right away. Okay, so welcome uh, for the really to like make sure that you guys like get the most out of this class. Hopefully you have like set a little me time aside. Maybe you have some tea, maybe you have a glass of wine. Um, but really, I really want to make sure that you're putting yourself first and sort of uh, really absorbing everything that we have to talk about tonight. I'm going to try to keep it to 40 minutes. I know we're all busy. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, uh, I think one of the things that I also sent out to in today's email was a little uh, screen share badge. So if you guys did get that and you can share it to social media, sort of announce to the world that you are ready to take your business to the next level. You are ready to do the, the work necessary to level up. Uh, and I'm going to be choosing one person who screen shares that image to do a one-on-one -on -one business audit with me. Lots of fun. Um, okay, so are we in the right place? Should we even be here tonight? So if you guys are anything like me, when you started your direct selling business, a lot of sort of thoughts came through your head. And in, in sort of putting together this course, I had a lot of one on ones with people, and a lot of things like kept coming up. So maybe like, despite your company training, you're really not sure what to do or how to start. Um, maybe you have a fantastic upline, maybe you don't have a fantastic upline, and you're really sort of left sort of floundering. Maybe you've been with an MLM for years, but you're just not moving up the ranks quickly enough. We can help you with that. Uh, perhaps you're struggling to build a team, or maybe you have a team, but you're not sure how to keep them motivated. Maybe they're all, you know, excited for the first month, and then they sort of like go dark on you. Maybe you're not confident enough to put yourself out there on social media. Maybe you don't have a large social media following. Um, and maybe you just can't find the words to effectively communicate with your market. So these are all things that we're going to be like talking about tonight and, and looking into in the course. Now, you're in the wrong place if you are not willing to put in the work. And I know that that is none of you because you have all, like I, I know a lot of you via social media. I know that you are um, wanting to know what the like best steps are to level up in your business. Now we all know this is not a get rich quick scheme. This, this business model, the direct selling business model is like, I just want to shout it from the rooftop, rooftops. I don't know if people fully understand the power of this business model. It is one of the most fantastic business models, if done correctly. Um, and we're going to learn how to do that. So if you're not coachable, I want you to be really open-minded and maybe like take a good look inside at some of the things that you've been doing, some of the things that maybe aren't working in your business and what we can do to sort of change that. Um, and lastly, if you don't have long-term vision. So along side with this isn't a get rich quick scheme. This isn't a ticket to overnight success. You are going to have to do some work for it to work. All right. So what are we going to learn today? So like I said, we're going to deep dive into the five biggest mistakes that network marketers make and what we can do about it. You guys are going to get a sneak peek into my signature method that I use to like get team members and to make consistent sales in my business. And finally, you guys are going to be the first to see my success Ferris wheel and how it sort of ties everything together and keeps the momentum of your business moving day after day after day. Okay, so who the heck am I? Now, a lot of you, like I said, follow me on social media. Uh, if you don't, my name is Stacy Price. I've spent the last six, uh, 17 years as a luxury wedding planner in Ottawa, Canada. Um, now, you know, I've taken sort of the a pandemic pivot, shall we say, into social selling 
found out I was pretty good at the MLM, MLM game and decided that really my passion lies in helping others succeed. So taking everything that I've learned, I've been a serial entrepreneur since I turned 20. Probably the last time I sort of like worked for someone was in my like late teens, very early 20s. Um, but I've, I've owned three businesses in every capacity from selling, from branding, to setting up, to sort of sales, to inventory, all of that stuff. So I'm sort of taking all of the skills that I've learned and sort of wrapping it all into a direct selling package. Okay, so a little bit more about me. Like I said, I'm the mama to three daughters um, that, eight, that range from age six to 16. So we got a lot of estrogen going on in this household. Uh, I'm an Enneagram three. So if any of you are familiar with the numbers game, uh, characteristics include highly energetic, competent, driven. Uh, like I said, I'm an entrepreneur to the core. So that number suits me perfectly. Um, I am an expert Caesar maker and drinker. Uh, I love having people drop by to chat. I am very social. So let me just tell you, this last year has been a challenge, uh, a challenge for me. I know all you introverts are loving it. Um, and don't get me wrong, I enjoyed a lot of Netflix, Netflix and chill time, but I am really a people person. So I think that's why I like spent the time really pouring my heart and soul into this course so that I can connect with um, people any way I can. If it has to be through it through a little screen, then that's what we're going to do. I am fluent in Grey's Anatomy and Schitt's Creek, and I'm actually embarrassed to say how many times I've seen both of the series like from front to back. But more importantly, I am truly passionate um, about helping other entrepreneurs discover what is inside them all along and really using that to scale your direct selling business. Um, this model, like I said before, is one of the like one of the most fantastic business models out there and it can give you the life that you want and deserve. So um, I want you to use your workbook here and sort of remind yourself of your why and what you actually want to get out of your direct selling business. That's super important and everything always is gonna tie back to that. So maybe you wanna spend more time with your kids. Maybe you wanna travel and see the world. Maybe you just wanna feel more financially secure and not have to worry every time you go to make a purchase. Um, maybe you're like sort of, this is your side hustle and you wanna quit your nine to five job and really put your energy into this. Uh, or maybe you just wanna work from home or a beach or the road. Um, all of those things are things that this business model can help you do. Okay, now why should you listen to me? So I have spent the last, um, especially the last year, doing a lot of talks, a lot of public speaking, and a lot of um, using all of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the last several years building my business and how I've sort of flipped that in and made that work for my direct selling business. So this is just a lot of wonderful people saying how I've sort of helped them, what I've done, what some of my tips and tricks directly have like they've used right away and they've seen some sort of change or result in their business. That for me is like literally the sort of like biggest gift that I can, that I can get from doing this. Now, here's the thing. You guys can do this too. You have everything you need to be successful. I know this. I know this because you're a lot like me. You're scrappy, you're gutsy, and you're smart. And that is what this business model takes. Um, so with, like, with everything that you have, all of those skills and assets together with this signature method, um, you're going to learn to generate consistent sales. Um, you're going to learn to scale your business by duplicating yourself. And you're going to turn this side hustle into a real income producing career. All right. Now, I hesitated about this slide, whether I was going to put it in or not, because I mean, I'm not a million dollar earner yet but I will be, and so will you. Um, and as I was sort of like going through the training and listening to other speakers, I would hear them saying like, I had another million dollar month or a seven figure launch or a second seven figure this or a million dollar that. And that's great. But for me, that just wasn't like relatable. I couldn't really, you know, like there's a big difference and a big jump between starting out and million dollars. Now we're going to get there and we're going to close the gap with this course, but we have to go through a couple of stages first. So for me, how my transition and sort of my transformation worked, I started, uh, I jumped into my business almost a year ago now, but I really, as you will see through my story, I really didn't like give it a lot of um, like room for growth really until April. And so April, I decided to put pedal to the metal. I leveled up to our first of four levels uh, in May. 
uh, and our second of four levels in July. So just like four months in, I had a team of almost 20. Um, and by, by September, I was like really you know, comfortably running $2,000, months, like extra cash in pocket for me. And at that time, an extra $2,500 a month, I was happy with that. That was like wonderful. Like, don't get me wrong, the 50,000 months that are coming, I'm looking forward to. But for right now and for where I was in my life, that is perfect. And it was at that point that I decided because I was starting to get a lot of questions like, what are you doing? Like, how did you um, move up so quickly? How did you um, get so many people on your team? And sort of at that time, I started thinking, you know what, my energy at this time, because I was like, financially wasn't so stressed anymore. Um, I said, I'm going to put some of my time and energy into really putting something together that I can help other people with. And that is sort of like how this course was born. It really was because it was stuff that you guys were asking for. I was getting questions on a daily basis. You know, what does your, your, your marketing schedule look like? What does your daily schedule look like? So I really, like I said, have put, you know, my heart and soul over the last few months into this course, making it answer all of the questions that you guys have been asking. So at the end of the day, what are you going to do with more time or money? Like, even if we can get your business to a, to a level where it's producing an extra $2,500 a month, is that going to make a difference for you? Will that make a difference in your life? Because um, the truth, it wasn't always like this for me. I actually spent months in a shame spiral. And just even saying those words now actually make me so sad. When I started um, putting together this course, like I said, I had a lot of one-on-ones with people in direct selling businesses all across the board. And the number one, almost 80% of the answers that came back was that people were like, felt shame for the business they were in. That to me, that's unacceptable. That like is just completely, we are going to do everything we can to change this industry and make people understand the power of the direct selling model. Um, because I don't ever want anyone to feel shame about what they do. So I was one of those people. I doubted myself. I was afraid to connect and talk about it um, because I was afraid to hear no. I was afraid that my friends weren't going to invite me places anymore. And I'm sure that you guys can relate to that. So the reality is, what are we going to do? How, how are we going to fix that? So for me, I learned to craft an irresistible pitch to my exact niche that solved their biggest pain point. I developed a simple, repeatable, teachable system to duplicate myself. And that is key to duplicate yourself. Um, and I stayed focused on the numbers. And when I say that, I don't mean like the vanity metrics. So things like, I don't have enough followers on Instagram or not enough people like that post or like my reel. Oh, we don't care about that. What we care about is this business is a numbers game. We're getting leads and we're converting them to team members or sales. That is all we need to do. This business model, guys, is simple. It is not easy. It requires work. But the model itself is simple. Okay, so why do people fail? Why, why isn't everybody in the million dollar earner club? Um, so here are some of the five mistakes uh, that people make. Now, if you uh, are following along in your workbook, you guys are going to have a place where you can actually write down. So I'm going to give my examples of like literally what I use for these like to, to as solutions to these problems. I want you guys to sort of um, as we go through things, think of things that relate to you, um, you know, as we as we sort of go along and, and make your list. Okay, so mistake one, and this is a big one. I'm sure you guys have heard this all the time. Niche, you're not niche down, you know, far enough. You need to niche down. So refusing to niche down, as crazy as it sounds, is super important. We've all heard the jack of all trades, master of none, meaning that like a generalist can do everything decently, but a specialist does one thing extremely well. So I want you guys to really Think about your dream, either team member or sales prospect, and really niche that down as far as it can go. Because the same holds true when you're selling online or in the direct selling sort of space. So 
What does that do? What does niching down do? Niching down allows you to define your target demographic. Okay. So the people who are going to be best suited to be attracted to you so that you don't have to be doing all the like cold messages all the time. People are going to naturally come to you because they know they have, they, they have a space with you and they have a home with you. So the more parameters that we have for this target audience, the better we'll be able to have like really specific marketing material that will speak just to that, which is exactly what we want. We want it to speak to your target client and no one else. Now, the good thing about this is when this sort of like, when you have your niche so well defined, you are going to find those people. And, you know, one of the big things that we hear all the time is, you know, there's already, there's too many, you know, um, team members in my field or too many people in my field. There's, I don't know enough people. You will be surprised that it sounds crazy when you like you know, make the field, the playing field smaller, the right people are going to be attracted to that space. So as much as we'd like to be everything to everyone, let's not try to do that. We're going to smoke, focus on a small, well-defined segment of the market, and then it's easier for potential customers to see what we do. We are going to pinpoint our audience painstakingly small. Okay, now what do I mean by that? And how are we going to fix that? So when we say niche, so the busy mom, that is a niche, okay? But let's sort of narrow it down. What is the, what is the issue with that busy mom? Is the busy mom that has um, no me time, no time for self-care, doesn't eat healthy because she's so busy, she doesn't feel supported because she's so busy, she's maybe missing out on sort of that community aspect because she's just stuck at home with her children, um, or she's concerned about product safety for her children, green standards. Um, and then on the flip side, maybe we have the, the, the cubicle worker or the or a woman that is like you know working um, but also has her family maybe she doesn't like what she's doing maybe she's wants to get away from the nine to five grind she wants more freedom there's no creativity in her job she wants to be at home with the kids or she's not time for herself and the gym so all of these things are going to help us sort of narrow in on our niche now, for me, my niche, when I first started and, and, you know, the people around me were like, this business is for everyone, just sell it to everyone. And that's what I tried doing and I wasn't getting anywhere. And maybe you guys feel the same thing. Again, because we're trying to be everything to everyone. Nobody, nobody really knows, you know, what, what I'm doing, what I'm selling, who I'm selling to. So for me, my niche is very specific. And quite frankly, it's me. I'm my niche. And that's kind of what you guys want want to do. So for me, I am the fountain of youth seeking over 40 busy mom who enjoys wine and time with friends and everything about my brand speaks to that. So I am not saying that, you know, the 20 year olds with like their sort of skincare issues or whatever isn't you know, isn't someone that I can help, I am saying that they are going to see me as an expert in this area. But because again, that snowball effect, when I speak with authority to that specific group, I'm going to set myself up as an expert in the field and other people will be drawn to that which is great. So now the other big, big thing about this sort of niche is that we can very clearly pinpoint what's called their pain point. And that is how we are going to get the team members and the sale. We are going to speak everything that we do is going to not only speak to our niche, but is going to speak to that specific pain point. So for me, the fountain of you seeking over 40 busy mom who likes wine, she is regretting, possibly regretting her skincare choices of her like younger 20s, maybe a little bit but too much sunshine. She's looking for corrective anti-aging skincare and healthy habits. So that for me, that's what I sell. I sell to that pain point all the time. So my solution for that is, you know, our anti-aging line and maybe our healthy living line. Now for you, when you put together your niche, whoever that person is, literally get a visual of that person, call her Sally and say, what does Sally do? What does Sally look like? What does Sally want? What are Sally's pain points and how can I help them? And if everything in your business speaks to that, I promise you, you will see, you will see the dial move. Okay, 
So number two, not showing up authentically. Now, this is a big one. Have you guys ever heard the phrase like, don't be the hey there girl? Now, I have to say, I feel like I'm the hey there girl. I say hey girl all the time. Like that's just part of my like dialogue. Um, but here's the thing. Not showing up authentically is it's hard to not be your authentic, authentic, true self. It feels like risky, um, especially now that everything's online and everybody's watching like every step that we're taking. It's really hard to be like your true natural self. We're all just trying to fit in. We want to be liked. We want to be accepted, you know, especially in this business model that's literally built on relationships with other people. Um, but here's the thing. If you learn again, to speak to your target market and to your pain point and to your your niche um, in a way that sort of suits uh, your like authentic self, people will see that. And that that's the whole idea of how we're going to fix this problem. Because think about it. The last time you made a big purchase, um, did you seek a recommendation from a friend, someone that you trust, maybe even someone online that you've like built a relationship with or that you trust? Word of mouth is the most powerful tool that brands can use. Why do you think that direct selling is such a like a lucrative business? Because that's literally what it is. It is mouth to mouth sales. So it's me using a product loving a product, showing the results, and sharing it with other people. When I heard this statistic, it literally changed the way that I do my business. 92% of consumers trust peer recommendations over a product advertisement. So think, think about the last thing that you posted online. I know that our companies make it really easy and like put together like sleek little like um, advertising photos that are really super easy when we feel like, oh my gosh, I haven't posted anything to social media today and I'm just going to throw up, you know, an ad. How many, when you see that ad as a consumer, what do you do? You scroll past it. We scroll past it. But if I'm going to show up on camera and say, hey guys, guess what? I had really crappy skin like a couple of years ago and look at how great it looks now. I'm 46 sex. Do you want to see what I did? That is going to have such a different impact to the people that you're selling to, especially if you're selling to that target market. Okay. So how do we fix this? Um, I think I asked you a little, a couple, a, a little before in your workbook about your top three qualities and you should know these boom, 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 because you are fabulous. This is your superpower. This is what is going to like drive your business forward. If you don't though, ask someone else, ask someone like, what's something that's like, what's a really great like quality about me. So for me, I speak really well in front of others. I usually have the ability to instantly put people at ease. I don't take myself too seriously. So those, those items are how I'm, what I'm going to use to build my authentic self and show that to other people. Okay. So when you're thinking of these, like, what are you complimented on the most? Like integrate that into sort of how, like how you are going to build trust. Um, the other big thing is uh, just getting back to the sort of hey girl thing. Uh, the reason for me why I use that, I use that with people that I've already built trust with. So when you're like sort of, and, and I know a lot of times people say like, we don't want to get into the cold messages and get in people's DMs. But the reality is to grow this business to a scalable level where you need it to be, you are going to have to start inviting and talking to people that aren't in your warm market. That is just how this, that's the reality of it. So if anyone that if anyone tells you like, oh, you can do this without, um, you know, meeting new people, they're wrong. That, that's, that's, you can get to a certain level, but at some point to get to the point where we're all going to be like super comfortable working on the beach, we are going to need to like open ourselves up to new people. So taking those top three qualities and putting them into what we can do to build trust. So for me, speak well in front of others. Okay, I'm going to show up every day and I'm going to show my face on camera and I'm going to talk because that is going to get people to know my personality, who I am and what I can do for them. I'm going to tell the truth. So instantly putting people at ease. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to show my failures as well as my successes. So I'm not always going to show up like picture perfect. I mean, if you guys follow me on, on social media, you see me roll out of the shower and out of the bed often with a big old towel on my head, um, which leads to point number three. Don't take yourself too seriously. Make people laugh. I show my humor and I, I show that in all situations. So all of these are things that, again, 
I, I want you to take some time and it doesn't have to be right now, but um, take some time, put down your qualities and, and, and how you can take each of those qualities and build trust with your audience. And remember, at this point, we've already super well defined our audience, like almost to the point where we know where they go, like on Friday nights to eat dinner, which is at home because nobody's going anywhere right now. Okay, mistake number three, being too salesy. Now, this is a big thing, and this is part of the business audit. Uh, if I looked at your um, profile page right now, or if I looked at any of your social media, would I know that you're in a network marketing company? And would I know which company it is? This isn't the first, this isn't the first thing that you want people to see. Okay. It's not, they don't want to be um, instantly set in the wrong frame of mind to listen to what you need to say. So we have to do that without being too salesy. This is like kind of a great analogy that I like, but being too salesy is like using a leaky bucket to fetch water from a stream. The more effort you put in, the less results you're going to get. Um, now, when I sort of think about um, how to explain you know, being too salesy in a way that can sort of help us fix the problem. Um, someone who sells a product or a, the business opportunity, I call that a product too, to someone in the wrong stage of awareness, or obviously in an aggressive or superficial manner. That we're not even, that is like an absolute no-no, but in the wrong stage of awareness is the key part of that phrase. Now, again, if we've done one and two correctly, we've identified our target market, we've identified what their exact pain point is, we've built trust with them by being our authentic self. By the time that we get to the sale, we should know exactly what the solution is that they're looking for. Do you see how that works? And just a little tip here that's worth noting, the more times you use your company's name, the lower your close rate becomes. People are not buying a product. How often have we heard this? What are they buying? You, they're buying you. So when people join my team, they're not joining like X, Y, or Z company, or they're not joining it because I sell this. They're joining it because of me. They're joining it because I've sold them on the dream. And that may be why you guys joined as well. But now it's time to like kick it up to the next level and start selling the dream, guys. Because really, that is what this business model holds for us. So how do we fix this? How do we fix being too salesy? So again, you're going to notice a, pl a little uh, plan here. Everything's going to build on each other. We're going to go back to our target niche and their pain point. So we don't want to treat our product or service like a commodity. We want to we want to treat it like a valuable solution to the real problem that they have, right? So an example of sort of like some, some verbiage that we can use for this is I knew this was right for me. Um, and if I gave, cause it gave me a chance to explore my creativity, but it needs to be right for you. I know, um, I know you want to find a way to leave your nine to five job and spend more time with your family. Can I show you how this opportunity can help you get there? Okay, so what's that? what that has done is that you've been authentic. You said that I knew this was right for me because of these reasons, but that's not what's gonna be what's right for you. But we know their pain point. They wanna leave their nine to five job so they can spend more time with their family. So we're gonna say that and make it about them. Can I show you how this opportunity can help you get there? So we haven't got to like what the business opportunity is, how we're doing the ask, all of that. All we're doing is, again, building on those other sort of mistakes, knowing our person, solving the problem, building the trust, and then offering them the solution. So instead of selling them something, we're offering them a solution to their problem. Okay, so again, let's see this in action. We talked a little about the working mom that wants to leave her nine to five. She wants to be more present with her family. Great. So when we're talking with them, since this is your goal, since your goal is more time with your family, I assume that means you feel you don't have enough time now. Okay, so now let me show you how you can fit this business into your life. So we've just taken our problem and we've pinpointed it down even further. But do you see what else we're doing? We're, we're stopping her no before it even starts. You, you want to spend more time with your family. So I'm assuming you don't have enough of it now. Is that correct? Do that while you're nodding because she'll be like, yes, that is correct. I don't have enough time right now. Let me show. Okay. And then that's, that's my no. I don't have enough time. 
let me show you how you can fit this business into your life. And then we're going to show her like by doing this, this, and this. We all know that this business can like fit into the nooks and crannies of your life in a hundred different ways. So as long as we set it up, we are going to alleviate the no, which is great. And also leads directly into our next point, which is letting a maybe kill your biz. Guys, this is a huge one. And I talked about this the other day on social media. A lot of times we'll get our prospect, whether it's selling the opportunity or selling a product, and they'll be like, oh, okay, like I'm kind of interested, like maybe. And you're like, fantastic. That's great. And then we put all of our energy into like the maybe, the maybe, the maybe, and they like put us off. Really, the path to success is paved with clear incomes. Whether it's a yes or a no, both are great. Just get them fast and we move on. Okay. So indecision will take over your mind space, your pipeline, the mind share of your team. It's like a slow poison that will slow you down and finally kill your momentum. It's a waste of resources. Now that is a little bit dramatic, but I really want to like drive the point home that, and, and I know I've been stuck in that trap. I've been focused so hard on getting one person that I've forgotten to do all of the other parts um, and, and not doing the income producing activity needed because I was focusing on this one person that maybe ultimately turned into a yes or ultimately turned into a no. We can't have that. <clears throat> what I say for this is we are stop trying to close this person, which is a sales mindset, just to make sale, make sale, make a sale. And instead, we need to lead our contract to the decision. So we are going to do a pain point solving solution like we set up in the last sort of scenario. So it is our job to create the best possible environment then for them, for them to make those decisions. Um, and this is going to be easy to do if we've done our homework correctly in the last three mistakes. So how do we fix? We've done one to three correctly. That Then we're going for the ask. So we talked about that last time. Now it's the ask. And we want to have a clear outcome. So we've identified the exact person that is going to fit with our authentic self. We know their pain point. We've like got them to trust us. Um, and we are going to lead them to a decision. So we get them on a call, we get them in front of us, we get them on a Zoom, we thank them for being there, obviously. Um, I'm so grateful that we're on this call today. Um, I want what is best for you and what is a right fit for you. So that's just going to instantly put them at ease. It's like, okay, they're not all like trying to sell me something. They want what's best for me. Um, now, this was for me, but maybe it's not for you. So I'm not here to convince you of anything, only to see if it's right for you. By the end of this conversation, You'll know if I'm a good fit for you and if you're a good fit for me. How does that sound? So we've sort of given them a deadline. At the end of this conversation, you're going to know, like, are, is this a now thing or is this not a now thing? And that's fine. I'll, like, move your name down and I'll come back at you in four months. But we want to do it in a way that leaves a good taste in their mouth. Because as we learn, as we, um, as we go on in sort of the course and all of that, um, if there are no right now, there's a redirect that we're going to do immediately. And as long as we haven't, like, peed them off, and if we've done it correctly, they're going to be in a great headspace to give us the, the, the things that we need um, as a no. Does that make sense for everyone? So to give you a couple of action items, and I have like some papers here because I have a couple of different options, like depending on what sort of your niche is. I've done it um, for mine. So again, going back to that sort of busy mom that's maybe been out of the workforce a little bit too long um, and is feeling like she doesn't have the skills to like do this business. That is a no that I hear. Like, you know, I, I just, I don't, I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know what to, where to start. So Everyone has skills and assets and strengths, whatever it is, especially being a mom. I mean, we all know what that sort of multitasking situation looks like. So we say something like that. You know, you have skills and assets and strengths that you bring to the table every day to help any company succeed. Would you agree? I wasn't going to say no to that. And if they do say, um, but you do this, you're, you know, you're multitask with this. There's again, doing our homework and having those, um, those answers ready. So um, if we combine your strengths and assets with my experience, what kind of business do you think we could build together? And that's the key because we are building it together. You are the leader of this team. You get to pick 
who you're going to work with. That is the beauty of this business. So you need to set up your ask in a way that makes them feel like, oh, okay, I'm not, I, I'm not just going to be left to like flounder on my own. Maybe like how, how some of you are feeling right now, because we are going to build this business together because we all know that, right? We all rise together. This business is based on the success of me is only dependent on the success of everyone around me. Okay. So there's a couple of other ones. So that's sort of like the, um, like strength and asset sort of navigating question. And that's what we call them. Sorry, I, I we have our previous note that we're, you're going to go back to your, um, your action item from before, whatever your no was that you hear. Uh, and we're going to figure out how to sort of navigate that question. Now, let's say we actually do get a no and sort of how we're going to like direct that to uh, work for us. So basically we are saying, um, you know, I can tell that you're a little on the fence right now. I, I can tell that you're you're not sure whether this is a right or new, uh, yes or no for you. Is that correct? So always like giving them short short answers. They just they we want them to give us short answers, and I can then we can say, can you see yourself being successful in this business? And if they say no, it's not for you. We're happy about that. We say great because we've made a decision. I'm glad that, that you took the time to make an informed decision that's right for you. Okay, because that does two things. So one, that shows that we're like, great, you've like, you've given us an answer and now we can move on. But it also is putting the onus on them that they did make an informed decision, right? And maybe that'll trigger some, maybe they're like, excuse me, wait a second, maybe tell me a little bit more about it and we'll leave the door open for that. <clears throat> excuse me, but if not, that's fine. We say that this decision isn't right for you right now and I appreciate your honesty, but I hope you'll still be a cheerleader for me, okay? So that's sort of how we want to leave that conversation. Okay, mistake number five, not leading from the front. So we have done steps one through four perfectly. We are moving, we are grooving, we are selling things, we are getting yeses and getting people on our team. Now what happens? <coughs> Excuse me. Because our whole team now is focused on you. So their eyes are focused on you now even more than before. So what we have to remember, most people in, net, in the network marketing business aren't used to being their own boss. So our job is to motivate them. And the best way we can do that is to continue to be successful and lead by example. So this means going back to the first mistake and continually repeating steps one through four. And this is what I call the success fer Ferris wheel, which you guys are going to like see a little bit later. Okay. So we want to constantly have people on different chairs of that Ferris wheel, and we want to constantly keep it in motion. That is key. Now, while we're doing all of this, which is leading from the front, we also have to make sure that we're coaching from behind. So here are two things, leading from the front, coaching from behind. So how do we lead? We consistently show up and speak to our target market, okay? They need to see you doing that. Their target market is going to be different. And if they see you showing up every day, speaking directly to that market, they will do that as well. We are going to speak truthfully and from the heart. We are going to continuously engage with new prospects. And we are going to continually be adding new team members. Okay, because that is what we want them to do. So when they see that, that's going to like help motivate them. Now, obviously, they're going to need some coaching from behind as well, but everything that you just learned is now what you're going to teach to them. So you're going to have consistent weekly training schedule. That is so important. Even if one person shows up, even if you have one person on your team, make it a 10 minute check in. That is so important and, and it has to happen. You are going to celebrate the team's successes. Um, you know, whether it's a little card, whether it's a shout out on social media, that you know how you feel when like someone says like, oh, you did such a good job, like, or thank you for, you know, showing up today. That is important. You need to start doing that. You are now a leader. We're going to learn how to use sort of incentives and rewards, like a reward system. We're going to host, uh, you know, weekly or monthly team building events. Um, and I'm going to show you in the next sort of action item, just some of the things that I do, like with my team. So, if you guys, again, have followed me um, from leading from the front, and feel free, you can use all of these. I like, I, I'm an open book right now. So 
I have something called Stacy's Secret Seven. So when I'm looking for new team members at the beginning of the month, I like hide seven names. So I tag people uh, into my posts and I call them Stacy's Secret Seven. And those are the people that I woo that month. Okay. Um, and we get into more of that in the actual Erase the Et course and how that actually works. Um, maybe it's something as simple as like listening to a new business podcast and reviewing it online so that your team hears that and um, knows that you're like, oh, okay, like she's, she's still learning. That's something that I need to do as well. Um, and attend your meetings. Your team needs to see you showing up for your like team meetings, however they happen, monthly, weekly, uh, you need to be there. You need to show up as well as host your own. Okay, so from coaching, there's a hundred things that you guys can do to coach. Uh, you can start a book club. You can do a photo shoot. This is something that I do. My team loves. We do it like seasonally um, and we just get together. We have so much fun and it does turn into a little bit of like, oh, like I got a new person on my team last week. How did I do that? And they start um, communicating with themselves like, which is amazing. So this is what's called your sideline and they can be just as valuable as your like upline. So make sure that you have events. And if you can't do it in person, that's okay. Host it online. Zoom has like opened up the world for us, which is amazing. Um, then, or issue a challenge to your team. This is something that my team loves. So, you know, be it like, who can be the first to get to like a thousand in sales or whatever it is. It can be something silly, but just sort of like spark that competitive spirit uh, amongst your team members. And again, if you're at a point right now where you don't have a team, you guys find your sideline sisters in your business and you issue challenges to yourself because we all have that competitive spirit. And once we have like sort of something on the table, people are going to want to dive into that, which is really what you want. Okay. Those are the five biggest mistakes. And I'm just looking at the time and I've like already almost talked for an hour. Um, so I hope you guys got like some good actionable things that you can do from this. Now, because you are like my wonderful, like waitlisted um, men and women, and I'm like so, so happy to have you guys uh, part of the, like my Erase the Act team. I want you guys to have like a sneak peek at actually what this course looks like. And I am so excited to show you and a little bit nervous because it's the first time I'm putting it out into the world. So for you, we can keep doing the same thing day after day. We can let fear and doubt and sh you know shame creep in. We can struggle to find and speak to our target market. We can be unable to put ourselves out there on social media. We cannot show up authentically. We cannot grow our team. Or there's a better way. Let's get you off this hamster wheel using the exact system, the exact signature system that I designed that is gonna get you real results. So guys, my goal for you, this is truly what I want to see happen in your business. I want you to confidently connect with anyone free from fear, doubt, and shame. Essentially, this course is going to erase the ick. And let me tell you, for me, that was massive and it took some time. I want you to build a multimedia brand on all platforms and effectively communicate your message to your niche target market. We are gonna mas master the art of successfully reaching out to our cold market, which is important, and converting those conversations to sales. We are gonna grow a strong sales organization with brand ambassadors that connect with your vision. And we are gonna intentionally lead from the front, inspire and motivate your team to do the same, okay? That is my goal for you with Erase the X. Are you ready to see it? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's do this. Okay, so if you have seen, um, had a chance to jump on the website, you guys will see um, what the hype is all about. Essentially, this is my signature dream method. So if you've ever been called dreamers, everyone in this like this chat tonight are my dreamers. And essentially what it is, is five modules. There's actually six. The, the first one's just sort of like an introductory model, uh, introductory module. Um, but essentially the dream method goes through 
all of sort of touches on, you guys will see the hint to the five biggest mistakes in each area. We're just going to go through it in like a ridiculous amount of detail. So the first module, like I said, is introduction. It's groundwork. We are going to lay the foundation for success. There is no way that you are not going to see the dial move in your business after taking this course. Okay, we are going to understand the power of direct selling. So that this, that this business model is so powerful, how it can work for you. Lesson two is the trait of the 1%. Lesson three, the four personality types and how they impact your business. And then lesson four, we're going to review some belief in our products, our company values, um, in yourself, in this model of network marketing model. Okay. Now, module two is where we sort of jump in and really start things. So this is, you guys, niche target market pain point we are going to give you a brand new brand so we're going to identify who you are your lifestyle your brand lesson two we're going to create your exact avatar so what that means is your niche we are going to exactly define who that is we are going to identify who your business partner is who your customer is and who your referral source is okay so those are all three different like little caveats of this business and they all need to be dealt with differently and number four, we're going to build your social media presence. Presence. We're going to help you choose a platform that works for you, and we're really going to like sell it. Okay. Number two, or sorry, module three is called relate. And that's say this, not that. So again, that sort of um, what we talked about of showing up as your authentic self. Number one is going to be all about relationship building, putting yourself out there on social media, how not to be the hey there, the hey girl girl, um, and to develop a system to authentically slide into the DM. Okay, so how to grow our market of people that like speak to our solution and our pain point and how we can how they can help us grow our business and our team. Okay, module four is engage guilt free gab. Guys, this one is crazy. There's like scripts upon scripts that you can literally copy and paste to like do the like work for you. So how to invite effectively. And when I say that, I mean how to invite people to be on your team, because no one's going to be on your team. If you don't ask, you literally have to ask them that when I like figure I was like, you're right. And when I literally ask people, I'm like, I want you to be on my team the world opened up. You, you need to say the world, words, but you need to do it effectively. Number two, selling the solution. We touched a little bit about on that. We do a deep dive into that. Three, how to address any objections. So again, I literally have every objection you can think of and how you're going to combat that and how you're going to combat it in a way that is going to convert to a sale. And then lastly, conversations that convert. So again, these scripts, plug and play templates that you guys can use sort of in your business to really like move the dial forward. Okay, and the last two modules, assemble. This is when we're going to stack our squad. So build our team, how to build that strong sales organization. Level two is, or sorry, lesson two is all about the fortune is in the follow-up. Lesson three, how to drive people to a yes or a no. And four, how to use what's called the yes ladder. When I found, uh, when I found out that this yes ladder was a thing, it literally changed. Remember when we talked about driving that to a, driving our maybes to a yes or a no, this yes ladder is going to help you drive them to a yes. And then six, we're going to go into our leap to leadership, our motivate. We are going to develop a success path using our success Ferris wheel that I am going to show you, our sales Ferris wheel. We are going to learn to lead from the front, coach from behind. We are going to show you creative incentives and challenges that actually produce results from your team members. So really, um, all of these modules are done on video format, just like this. There is, um, we'll, we'll move forward and I'll sort of show you how else the lessons are like are taught to you um, but this is a little peek into my success ferris wheel so not only do i want to give you all the tools to like succeed i want to show you how they all fit together and the sort of best way to think of it is to think of each of these points so attract connect invite educate follow-up outcome as a chair on the ferris wheel at every point in your business like day i want you to have someone on one of these chairs and it literally has to be constantly moving so we attract the right person, we connect with them, we invite them to listen to how we can solve their problem, we educate them on how we're doing that, we follow up, 
we drive them to an answer, whether it's yes or no, and we continue on. And this constantly has to be moving. So this is a big piece um, of the Erase the Ick course that we really like are gonna tie, tie a big fat bow on everything essentially for you. Okay, how does it all work? So like I said, there's six modules. So it's a step-by-step program, including coaching and accountability that will transform your direct selling business in six weeks. Now, because this is a like first time launch of this program, you guys are what I'm calling my founding members. And I am only taking 10. So the first 10 people to sign up are the people in this founding member group. And essentially what that means is that you're stuck with me for like glue because it's going to be really one-on-one -on -one focused um, because I really want to make sure that this is like the perfect course. It does what it's supposed to do. It answers all your questions and it moves you up the ranks of your company. Okay. How are we doing this? 18 video lessons. So each um, module has um, the four lessons. They all have video lessons um, and it's essentially what this is. So me talking you through all of the worksheets, there's support resources. So workbooks, e-guides, templates, ready to use email swipes. There's no sense in reinventing the wheel. Um, I figured out a system that works, that produces sales, that produces, sorry, team members. I I'm giving it to you. Okay. And there's still more. So there's a live power hour calls. So once a week on Tuesdays, we are all getting together um, and doing like via Zoom, but this is the live interactive power hour. So if you have questions, if you have stumblings, if you have like, I'm, you know, this hasn't worked for me, we're gonna like work through that together as a team. We've got a private Facebook, Facebook coaching group, again, Q&A, feedback, we're gonna share ideas. This is a members only, okay? So whoever is on this founding member group, we are a part of this Facebook community. And then we have a bonus collection and I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna show you what that is. So essentially there's four other sort of like little, we'll call them mini modules. One of them is a social media bootcamp because like it or not, you know, the era that we're in right now, it is a social media, circus, let's just say. So this is going to be all about intentional content, uh, clean up your feed, you know, prompts and posts that you can use, branding, what the look, you know, speaks best to your avatar. Uh, and this is all going to be included as well. Uh, our second bonus is the say this, not that. So it's literal copy and paste sales scripts for making the ask um, of, you know, whatever type of person you find yourself um, speaking with how we can sort of like best get results from them. Um, number three is stopping the shame spiral. So this for me was a big one. So it's motivational cheat sheets. that's going to separate yourself from the outcome and how and why we're going to do that and really um, learn to communicate this business model in a way that's like not icky which is where the course thing came from. Um, number four, business builders. So these are 10 lessons that literally change the trajectory 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 of my business for the better this is one of the things that I speak on often um, when I'm asked to speak on my business because they really are pivotal things that uh, you know lessons that I learned sort of the hard way that is going to help you guys as well. Now, even better, I have collaborated with some amazing, amazing people that I am so excited. I haven't even literally told anyone about this yet. Um, so you guys are the first to sort of like get your like eyes and ears on this. So obviously me, I am offering some one-on-one -on -one coaching to the founding members, which is amazing. Um, I'm not sure if you've heard of Brittany Batla. She is an uh, Instagram coach in South Carolina. She is fantastic. She is in, in a direct selling company as well, but focuses all of her energy on um, Instagram uh, and specifically on how, how we can use reels to make our business sort of moving forward. So she is offering us a dis discount code on her course called Real Like a Boss. Uh, and then Melissa, who is actually from Ottawa and a new friend of mine, she owns Mom and Hustle School. So a lot of times, a lot of women that I've met in this, um, in this business are busy moms and they're trying to figure out a way to fit this business into their life. She is going to teach us how to properly schedule and own 
our day, which is amazing. Um, so these are all bonuses and I am super pumped about, um, about this. So the course, uh, these lovely ladies courses are going to have um, bonus codes and I will uh, put that in so that you guys can have access to that as well. Okay. So breaking it all down. Um, now, this is what is going to be going live at the end of the month. So when the course is announced to not to the whole world and not just the people sort of on my wait list. So like my founding group, this is what the pricing is going to look like. But you guys, obviously, because you've like listened to me ramble on now for an hour and two minutes, um, you guys are getting a, a deal. So I'm calling it the founding members special and it is live now on the website. So if um, you did get Get your work workbook and you're looking at it digitally you can literally click on um, the course and you can purchase it now which is amazing now the great thing about this course and why this founding member uh, special is happening is because you guys are literally going to get this course dripped out to you on a six week schedule so what that's going to do that is going to yeah I don't know if you guys have ever bought an online course before I know that I have and it ends up in my inbox and I don't even look at it or think of it that is not what is going to happen with this course we are literally going to do it together so the course is going to be dropped or sorry dripped out every two weeks and you are going to have time to like read the material digest the lessons listen to all of the videos and then the following week we are going to have our accountability coaching session so that all the information that you've learned from that first module we are going to make sure that you're putting into play then the following week the next module is going to be dripped out and it's going to sort of work like that so that after six weeks you guys have an army of information that you literally throughout the whole process of taking this course have taken the steps to ramp up your business so this is only for the masterclass students there is going to be a time limit on this pricing but it is up there live now now if there's anything holding you back please know that this is completely risk-free we have a seven-day money-back guarantee um, if you decide that you know you purchase the course you go through um you know, once everything starts after the first week, you realize it's sort of not for you. You can cancel at any time um, within seven days of your purchase. We don't worry about that. Obviously, I would never feel good about keeping money if I knew that this program did not sort of live up to your expectations um, and no questions asked or refund. So guys, what I really, really want is if you take one thing away from this, you can do this. You can build a wildly successful direct selling business. You can get that time and financial freedom you're craving. You just need to have a cheerleader on your side. Let me be that cheerleader. This opportunity has never been more available to you than it is right now. And like I said, once we go through this founding group and the course is done and built, it gets put out into the universe. And that sort of one-on-one -on -one experience is going to be like, isn't going to be part of um, uh, part of the course. So do the work, get the results. Let's live our dream life. That really is what it comes down to. And this course, I really, um, like I said, I, I put my heart and soul into it. I really think this is going to be um, the sort of answer to a lot of your questions. So thank you so much. I went a little bit over time and I just apologize for that. But those of you who have stayed on till the end, I am so appreciative. Um, like I said, this course has literally been like my heart and soul for the last couple of months. I have packed as much into it. Um, as possible because I truly want you guys to be as successful as you deserve to be. Uh, I will be on social tonight, um, pretty much all night, but starting at eight o'clock. So if you guys have any questions, please slide into my DMs, ask me anything you like, but I really, really hope to see you on the other side uh, during Erase the Ick.